hey, you're watching Your Plates or Mine, the cooking show where you don't have to be a professional chef to be a star in your own kitchen. I'm your host, David Miller, and we bring you the best recipes from cooks just like you and I. So what do you say? Spend a little time with us, and we're going to show you how to make a fantastic recipe that you're going to want to share with your family and friends. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Your Plates Are Mine. I'm here with Elvis Harrison. Elvis, thank you so much for having us. Good to be here with you today. Great. We are at the Living To Go Church in Goodlettsville, Tennessee. They've been nice enough to let us use their kitchen. Thanks, guys. And what are we going to make today? Well, we're going to make meatloaf. Meatloaf? And mashed potatoes. All right. Green beans. And we're going to bless some eggs. We're going to bless some eggs? Yes. You can't devil eggs at church. You have to bless them. <laughs> okay. we got to make sure we get mm -hmm. that right. Well, good. I can't wait to do this, so I'm let's ready. get going. Let's do it. All right. All right. All right. Well, meatloaf is kind of a traditional comfort food, really hearty, mm -hmm. really good. And, and, and now everybody's kind of got their own recipe. So how did you come up with this? Well, my mama had a recipe, mm -hmm. and I knew that wasn't the right one. Oh. <laughs> And uh, I told her so several <laughs> different times, you know. Uh, Which I'm sure was very popular. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah that, that went over real uh -huh. well, you know. But uh, back uh, when I was young, about 22 years old, I had a little flare-up with my heart. Uh -huh. And uh, I went to work for a gentleman because I wasn't supposed to work. And he said, mm -hmm. if you just sit here and watch this lady cook, she mm -hmm. don't like to be here by herself. Uh -huh. And uh, she could sing. And, of course, I sang gospel uh -huh. music, too. So, I mean, that was right down my alley, you know. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but she cooked for about 300 people every day. Wow. And uh, so she got me involved in cooking. Mm -hmm. And I tried several different recipes, and I've just added to this one and changed it over time mm -hmm. till I've got it to the where when I fix it for somebody, they like it, and I quit when it got yeah, to the there point. There you go. You know? <laughs> Sometimes you got to stop. <laughs> Sometimes you just leave it alone uh -huh. when it gets to the right place. You know? Well, great. We're going to start out. With uh, this is right at three pounds of meat. Three pounds uh -huh. of ground beef. Of ground beef. Mm -hmm. You can use ground chuck or or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, normally I do just use uh, the ground beef, mm -hmm. and I usually try to break this up and and uh, just get the the meat just a little bit loose. I tell you what, while I'm doing this, right. I'm going to need one cup of those onions. All right. And probably about a. a uh, a third of a cup of the bell pepper. Third of the cup and of if pepper. And if, right. if you don't cut your fingers off now, because you'll bruise yourself real bad with okay. that knife. Okay. <laughs> well, we're going to need some butter crackers. Okay. Yeah. You have to crush these crackers up just exactly right. Okay. Yeah, if you don't. So you don't want them too floury? Well, you or want too them big little a chunks. chunks. You want, right. But you don't want great, don't, don't want whole crackers. All right. But you don't want it into a fine, fine powder either. Okay. And we're going to use, uh, in this three pound meatloaf, we'll probably use about two and a half cups to, uh, you know, maybe three. Just two depends on how it cups. looks once we start pouring it over right. into this. Now, why do you use the crackers versus bread or, or something else? Well, it, the, the butter flavor that it gives it, and mm -hmm. I don't know, I just like the consistency that it has made my meatloaf. It gives you know, it I, I tried kind of bread crumbs, I tried mm -hmm. crackers, just other kind of crackers and things, but it gives it a richness. Mm -hmm. Some way or another that 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 I really do like, and uh, so that's just just what I what I've settled on. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, you you weren't kidding about this knife. <laughs> I wasn't. I, I do need to get that thing sharpened up just a little bit, maybe. And uh, okay. this right here, if you want to, just you what, just, just, just slide that right over in there, and I'll just All add right. these other that I've already got cut up here in there. Now, you were telling me there's a little trick about well, doing Yeah, I think there is. Uh, if, if you don't want to cut them too fine, of course, mm -hmm. you don't want great big old chunks either. You right. don't want to bite into a bite that, that mm -hmm. hasn't cooked through and things mm -hmm. like that. But uh, if what I think we was talking a little while ago, it's sort of like a, uh, a small dice, mm -hmm. possibly. 
And um, but it, it's important that you don't don't fi do it too thin, because if you if you get it down too thin, then it just it the kinda, flavor sort of goes away some way or another. Right. The, the size of the vegetables and stuff does make a difference in the consistency mm -hmm. and, and the flavor of what you cook. So about that size? About, about like that right mm -hmm. there. That's real good. Mm, all right. And uh, you've done this before once or uh, twice. Once I think. or twice. Have yeah. you? Mm -hmm. And uh, well, so, not not your special meat. Well, I understand that, you know, but it's probably the meatloaf you'll only, you'll never make another one after this. Yeah, you know? that's that's and, what uh, I've heard. <laughs> you want to take just about just about a half cup of brown sugar mm -hmm. and put over whoop, whoop. put over in your meat. Okay. You, and, now you can tell you've done this once or twice because well, you I don't have, even need to measure anymore. I, I've done it so many times, and. Uh, yeah. It's sort of, and, and they may want to adjust it to their taste some too. Sure. Now, I mean, everybody, mm -hmm. somebody might like a sweeter meatloaf than, than somebody else or right. whatever, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, then after you get all this mixed in together, you mm -hmm. want to take and do about probably three eggs, depending on the size of the eggs. All right. And these eggs right here. That'll give it are, a little, some nice moisture. Right. Help a lot of people put together. milk and different stuff, and, and mm -hmm. I don't use that. All I, all I use is is the eggs. All right. And uh, and then just take that and and nothing better yeah. than those right here. Just take and work that all in mm -hmm. into your meatloaf. I believe that's going to be just about what we need to do. Mm -hmm. And you can work one to death. You can work your meat to death. And a lot of people don't understand that too. Okay. Uh, like in making a hamburger patty or mm -hmm. something. You know, so you, you take one and just, just make it out and cook it, mm -hmm. and you take one and you work it and you work it and you work it and you work it, cook uh -huh. it, then it's going to taste different. Right. And uh, so you don't want to overwork. Okay, so you still want a little bit of air. You don't right. want to smoosh it down right. totally. All right. Right. And then that's going to be our meatloaf. Right. And I brought some really fancy pans okay. to cook them in <laughs> because I left my really fancy ones at home uh -huh. this morning. I forgot to bring them. But once you get this made up, just put it in your pan. Okay. And uh, and if it falls apart, it's no big deal. Just push it back. Push together. it back together. All right. And uh, and what I do is I try to make it, and I try to leave a well on both sides, mm -hmm. all and, the way around. And why do you do that? Well, it lets the grease cook off of it a little bit. When I think that it's about done, when it gets to about 140, 145 degrees in the center, mm -hmm. then I take it out, and I take a. a a baster, mm -hmm. and I suck some of the grease out from around this ah, and take it off of it mm -hmm. because I'm going to make a topping to go over it that I want to run down in there and help infuse and ah, cook into the meatloaf. Very nice. Okay? Very nice. And you don't have room for it if you leave all of that in okay. there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, and that grease will kind of dilute it and right. kind of yeah. block it from right. getting in so, anyway. So we want it to be where we can, can get it down in Great. there. Let me just recap for the folks at home. Okay. You make it, you put it in the pan. Right. You put it in a 350 350 to, to 360, somewhere okay, along there. Oven. Degree oven for right. for 45 minutes. Then we're going to take it out of the oven and we're going to do some more things to it. Okay. Which I will show them in, in just a little while right. as far and, as that goes. Okay. You brought up something that is key, especially when you're doing a new recipe. Use the thermometer. Right. Instead of just trying right. to ballpark it. And yeah. you'd also mentioned to me that. This one we're going to run a little bit longer because it's thicker. It's a little thicker. If mm -hmm. I was making this in a, in a 9 by 13 inch dish, right. it wouldn't be hardly as thick. It would be a little bit thinner. Okay. So the thicker it is, the longer that you have to cook it to right. get it done in the middle. Right. And right. The, the meat thermometer will keep you from going too far right. or not enough. That, that's the name of the game. That's the name of the It'll game. It'll save you life. All right. Well, let's pop okay. that in the oven and uh, get it cooking. All right. I'm ready. Right. You ready to make the topping for this meatloaf? Yeah, this is the special magic that happens on the, right. the end. Right, okay. this is what happens at the end of it. And I thought I'd let you make it. Do you know all the ingredients? Uh, uh, bacon. 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 Now, you know enough to make it probably <laughs> work. Uh, normally we would start off with about, uh, say, six ounces of bacon for a three pound meatloaf. Okay. And we're going to cut it up. Actually, I'm going to cut up some extra all right. because I want some of the, the sauce left. Uh -huh. I have a reason for it here in a little all while. All right. There's okay. nothing. I mean, can you ever have too much extra bacon? Never. Never. <laughs> never. You know, the only thing better than one pound of bacon is two. Is two? Yeah. And uh, all right. what we're going to do is, is we're going we're gonna to take this bacon and mm -hmm. I want to uh, cut it up in about, about half inch squares. We're going to take this and put it in our skillet mm -hmm. on the stove. And we're going to to render it down mm -hmm. to uh, not to where it's just 
crispy like that you would put on a salad, but uh -huh. we want to render most of the grease, All right. uh, the pork fat uh, mm -hmm. down. But we just want to take this and, and let this uh, saute around uh -huh. till, it, till it cooks down. And uh, make sure it don't stick here in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And uh, once it gets a little of the shortening cooked out of it here, the fat cooked out of it, it'll be yeah. fine and, and, stick. and do well. Right. Mm -hmm. I'm to get off of that. There you go. And, uh, but, uh, brown that up. This will take, usually it takes like five or six minutes or so to, to yeah. render this all the way down. So. Mm -hmm. You know, and, uh, you want it over fairly high heat, but you don't want it over so high heat that it it burns up part of it and the rest of it's not cooked. Either. Right. So, mm -hmm. you know. Okay, this is getting down about where that I I like for it to be. Mm -hmm. And what we're going to do is we're going to take about a cup packed, maybe a cup and a half if you don't pack it down, of brown mm -hmm. sugar, and we're going to to place it right over in the top of that. All right, let me and just show the folks okay. at home. Yeah, so just kind of cook it down about to this consistency. Looks good. And then we're gonna add the brown sugar to that. Right, and like I say, we're gonna use a, a cup and a half or so. If you're making just for meatloaf, I might use two cups mm -hmm. in this because I'm making a little extra for, All right. for the other. But take that mm -hmm. and just let it soak up all of the all of the fat off of the mm -hmm. the bacon. All that goodness. Yeah, and now we're gonna take this and turn the heat way down. Mm -hmm.